quick overview of direct fire because this is going to come into effect as soon as the Soviets start their turn. Um, we've got several units on overwatch which means they are able to fire during the Soviet movement phase. To make a, a direct fire attack you must declare the unit that's making the attack, declare what weapons making the attack, declare what the target is, the target must be spotted, it must be must be in a clear line of sight or even a partially obscured line of sight but it must must be actually targetable when you fire at it you must complete all firing at that particular unit before anything else can fire okay now your various targeting priorities are in, in effect. Normally you have to shoot at the unit that is closest to you. Now there are exceptions to this. If a closer unit has already been engaged in this phase by a friendly unit, you can actually shoot at a, another hostile unit that was further away. You can uh, declare that you're going to ignore infantry to concentrate on artillery, even if the infantry uh, um, on armour, even if the uh, infantry was closer. And you can do the same going, I'm going to declare f my fire on the infantry, even though the armour was closer. You can always choose a bigger and more armoured target. That you as your uh, target for fire but you can't do it the other way around you couldn't say right I'm ignoring that big tank there to fire, fire at that inventory support vehicle that is actually further away overwatch overwatch is declared by units that didn't move or fire in their phase uh, they're marked with an overwatch marker which is this blue thing here that says the uh, reconnaissance company has effectively got all its units on overwatch now on overwatch you can shoot at an enemy during his movement now if you shoot at him while he's moving there's a minus one penalty to hit but you can also shoot before he starts to move which isn't going to apply here because they're going to come on the board or after they finish moving, which is possibly not a good idea because they might be, you don't want to really want them to get too close. Other types of um, fire that you need to consider is, is, is hold fire. So a unit that didn't fire in its own fire phase can actually be marked with a blue marker with an H on it to say it's hold fire and hold fire means they can actually shoot at you while you are in in your fire, fire phase so uh, anything if I had any um, British units here on hold fire they could actually engage the Russians during the Russian fire phase Special type of uh, overwatch which we will be using is shoot and scoot. Now the difference between shoot and scoot and normal overwatch is normal overwatch you can fire your full rate of fire. Um, so if you had a quick look at um, a scorpion has a rate of fire of three. So in normal overwatch that could have three shots at a target. Now you don't always have to shoot at the same target. If you want to shoot at two different targets, you lose one from your rate of fire. So in that case, a scorpion, if it wanted to engage two targets, it would only have a rate of fire of two, not three. Other things that can affect your rate of fire are your quality. Really good troops, and that's superb troops, have a plus one to the rate of fire, and really poor troops have... Uh, minus one or minus two to the rates of fire. Uh, shoot, shoot and scoot. Basically, you halve your rate of fire. 
and round down to a minimum of one so you're always going to get one shot off and when you get that shot after that you're immediately able to move up to half your movement right so these people will be trying to get out of the way back into cover if they can now if there were any Russian units on overwatch which there aren't they could then take a pot shot at a unit that's done a shoot and scoot after it's moved its first quarter of an inch another thing if you're firing missiles via overwatch any enemy units that are guns not missiles can actually have a free shot at you so they could actually destroy you before your overwatch shot has had a chance to, to to engage the target that's not true in this particular situation russians will enter the board the first phase being the reinforcement segment of the uh, of the uh, movement phase these are all arriving as reinforcements onto the board they move take any sort of overwatch fire then they've got their fire turn anything on hold fire from the allied side which there aren't any could engage them and then they can shoot at vehicles uh, British vehicles 